Hey, what's up everybody? This is Alex Molina, 93 here. Today is gonna be my full review of Cuphead. Um, dude, what? This is not what people are waiting for. Oh, not this Cuphead. My bad. This Cuphead. When it was announced back in E3 2015, I believe, I was super excited to play this game, it looked fun and its art style looks outstanding. I mean, who would imagine a video game having an art style of the older cartoons back in the day, from 1930s I believe. This game is awesome. One of the best games in this current gen so far, one of the best indie games that I've played. This game reminds me some of the run and gun games back in the day from the 90s that we grew up with and this game returns with this gameplay style and I'm really glad they did something different and so fresh I want to say things that I like about this game and some of the game some of the things that I don't like about this game so let's get started shall we this game is a running gun game and you control one of those two humanoids with Cupheads, which is obviously the reason it is called Cuphead. It is a running gun game and you're in this platforming sections and you're shooting at the enemies like you remember back in the day. This game does does not have weapons or whatsoever. You don't use weapons, you use a hand that it acts like a gun and you shoot at them, which is kind of funny actually. I mean what do you expect is a cartoon? In a video game obviously but this game is so much fun but let me tell you something as childish as it looks it is not for everybody why because it is so difficult so difficult that it what makes you pull your hair out like oh my god this game oh my god so challenging it is not for everybody it is made for the people who grew up with running gun games back in the 80s and 90s like Contra, Metal Slug, Vector Man, Gunstar Heroes, etc. If you remember those games, this game gives you that challenge, gives you that gameplay style. And it is so cool that they, they did something, something that we remember back in the days. It is about time. For an art style, it looks absolutely fantastic. The animations and the characters, how they look, I mean, it is just fantastic. And I wouldn't imagine how fun this game is and how beautiful this game is. This game offers you more bosses and a fewer levels themselves. I mean, the bosses in this game are incredible and they are very challenging and they are so creative. I wouldn't imagine the bosses to be like to be like that. I mean, you expect the bosses to be that easier? No, even though you can change the difficulty, but I recommend to everybody to to beat the game in a regular difficulty because you need to to progress the game with this difficulty and it gives you the contract when you defeat a boss in every boss in this game and the levels I mean there are just a few of them I mean it offers you fewer levels which it seems kind of small to be honest I mean I would love to see more levels than more bosses. I mean, in my opinion, I don't know you guys. But from what they did with this game, I mean, they did an amazing job with, with the bosses and the level designs. I mean, the levels, you you collect those five coins, and with those coins, you you can buy the weapons and the special abilities in the shop where those certain weapons they they can damage below average or or a lot more harder and one of those special abilities they 
they help you depending which kind of obstacles you're you're confronting yourself. Controls are simple. You jump, you shoot, and you parry, and you dash, which helps you gain the heights from those platforms. And and parrying, you use it when those pink objects come at you, and when the time is right, you parry those pink objects. And let me tell you something, parrying it is required for for the grades that, that this game gives you. And speaking of grades, if you want a perfect grade from certain levels and bosses, you need to make sure that nobody hits you, avoid the obstacles and hazards, and you need to be as quick, as fast as you can in a level or a boss. You need to parry the pink objects that come at you, and you need to fill up the special art meter if you want a perfect score. But to me personally, this is something that I don't waste my time on because how challenging and how difficult this game is is gonna give me more frustration. That's just how I feel, guys. I mean, this is the challenge for you if you want a perfect, perfect scores. 100% in this game, go ahead. This game is a lot harder, as you guys think. <laughs> there are no checkpoints in this game whatsoever. This is one of my biggest complaints, that there are no checkpoints on those levels or bosses in order to continue where you left off. I mean, th at least this is... At least they should have given us a checkpoint, so it wouldn't be so frustrating. Some, some of you guys could say that it could be unfair for a challenge, but but think about it. It could be so frustrating for a lot of you guys. I mean, they made some of the levels so short. I mean, this game is so short anyway. So I think that's their purpose of not including the checkpoints. And my other complaint is how long it loads some of the levels and some bosses. I don't know if you guys experience that, but it takes so long to load. Overall, this game is such an amazing game that I would recommend to anybody who grew up with with the run and gun games back in the day. Such a fantastic game for the Xbox One and PC. If you want this game, it is only available for the Xbox One in PC. I don't know why some Xbox dudes say that this is an Xbox exclusive. I mean, who cares? Just enjoy the game. I mean, if you're one of these guys who expect this game to come to PS4 or the Nintendo Switch, I mean, I don't think that's gonna happen. But hey, at least some Xbox dudes have something to enjoy. So yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed this game for what it is, it's such a fantastic game, go get it if you haven't tried it as of yet, I mean, it may look childish but this game gives you a challenge, I mean, don't let the art style get into you, it is a great game and it is so much fun. Before I go, you want to know how many times I died in this game. I might get an L for this, but I died 392 times. <laughs> oh, how embarrassing, but I have to be honest, guys. What can I say? But at least I beat it, so that counts, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos to come for you guys to enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and a like button below and comment in the section below on what you think of Cuphead. If you're having fun with Cuphead, it is your choice. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Peace. Just like that.